intelligence. Saying the games in a state. Hey guys, welcome back to the Pearl Lemon Autonomy Training. This is for all of you who are seeking to build a career of your own within Pearl Lemon, as well as those who are looking to be leaders within Pearl Lemon, as well as anybody else who you know is getting value from these training trainings. So look, knowing when to fire someone, it's taken me too long to trust my gut. The brutal reality is, is that intuition is mostly a good thing to bank upon. And if intuitively people aren't up to your standard, it's probably come as a consequence of, and don't get me wrong, intuition is different from just disliking someone. Disliking someone isn't a reason to get rid of someone, although disliking someone can have an impact upon company culture, but I think that's discussed in other videos about being in different departments, finding ways to work together, and seeing if your dislike is spread amongst a team. If it's more than one person, if it's several, that person whose dislike probably just needs to go because they don't work within company culture. So coming back to knowing when to fire someone, it's a combination of trusting your gut and then seeing um, if someone can, can improve relatively quickly. And I talk about improvement in terms of them having made mistakes that no one really should be making, like not updating you, not communicating, work being massively sloppy, especially where you've got a point of reference, a comparison point and you know what the general standard is and if this person is falling well below that standard don't hesitate give them one more chance and tell them when you give them that chance look this is what the standard is this is where you're at i want to stick with you and work with you can you make the leap you've got this one chance to improve and if it doesn't improve immediately within 24 to 48 hours then unfortunately it means we can't move forward tell me right now what you want to do and typically that person will say yep i want to i want to move forward i want to do it and then you've got that timeline to see if they improve now if they don't improve then it probably is the right time to fire them now i'm going to talk about the caveats so some of that really depends upon how easy it is to replace the, uh, replace that person and replace that position so in some specific job roles within pearl lemon there's an abundance of supply okay so there's lots of people lining up to take their role which means that you could easily and readily replace someone i'm a great believer that no one is irreplaceable no one is indispensable and that you can ultimately find your way to make it without that person so if that person is damaging to the business then they need to go pretty much regardless of whether you don't have a ready replacement for them if that person could be better then you still want to get rid of them relatively quickly and all of this depends upon your ability to replace a person so what i typically tend to do is if you've got real red flags and i, I would to be honest with you i would i would i would get rid of them but in parallel i would reach out to our HR and say, look, can you recruit for this role or how easy is it to recruit for this role in the instance that you don't know from historical experience how easy it is. If you know that you can get someone in quite quickly, just get rid of that person. What you're looking for is stars. So once you've got a benchmark or standard of what the expectation is for that role, if people don't live up to that expectation, they've got to go. If people are setting the standard, then and you don't think that standard is good enough, the way that you discover that is try something for yourself. But generally, you'll have an inkling. So I'd say trust your gut, look for evidence of their execution, give them one chance to improve. If they don't improve, get rid of them pretty much immediately. And the only time that you would delay that is if it's a difficult role to replace. But even in those instances, I would say that if you just get rid of them and the company's not going to be in trouble, then fantastic, because it's more pertinent that we get rid of someone who isn't hitting the standard. Um, and anytime you have a worry about that particularly, then reach out to someone who's one of the team leaders. But hopefully that gives you some insights into when to fire someone. The general greatest thing I can tell you, the most important thing is fire fast. If you don't trust someone or intuitively you don't think they're performing, I think it's time for that person to go.